Liberalism is a mental disorder. Gavin Newsom is a faggot. Yep, he's a menace to society. Welcome back. We're live again. We got Marco. He's about to get interviewed by Bill, Channel 19. So I'm going to cover this too. Oh, Gavin Newsom strikes again. First in the bedroom and then in the boardroom. See, they want to do the inauguration private because they don't want to really know what we think of it. No. They have their selected minorities to come in, right? They handpicked their little token minorities from this group. What's that? You agree? We're here at the Capitol, and we have Marcos with... Marcos. The whole west side, right? Like, so I can... Uh, el party que conducen los demócratas aquí es un monoparty system, un partido sería mo, mo, monopartido, que, que este, como puedes ver, quieren hacer la inauguración a puertas cerradas, darle oportunidad a, 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 al votante, al taxpayer, que demos nuestras opiniones o lo feliciten. ¿Por qué no quieren escucharnos? Nos dijeron que era público, estamos aquí y no lo queremos. Definitivamente apoyamos la agenda de Trump y el, el Trump 2020, pero más que nada como no estamos contentos cómo se ha estado manejando California, ni con los republicanos, ni con los demócratas, estamos creando un nuevo movimiento que se acerque más a lo que es el, el funding, la, la visión que tuvieron los, los funding fathers de este, de este país y estamos tratando de implementar que se separe este estado en, en dos estados usando el, el, la, el vehículo que se usó en West Virginia uh, para hacer no sería West California pero sería este, uh, un nuevo California ¿Están ustedes de acuerdo con la postulación de nuevo? Definitivamente no y, y te, estaba yo diciendo sí, yo no, la... no te me muevas cuando dices déjame la otra vez porque te muevas no estamos de acuerdo en este es son este, tácticas de feministas en donde puedes ver que es un niño guiado que le dieron la gobernatura. Nancy Pelosi lo ha postulado a él. Sobrino. Y, uh, y no nos gustó cómo ha sido la pelea. Este, ya es muy obvio que, que este estado está en manos de de los elites y si no hacemos algo al respecto nosotros los, los de abajo vamos a sufrir las consecuencias. ¿Cómo cree usted que van a sufrir? Pues mira, para empezar con, con el, lo, lo, que ya, lo que yo llamo a la, la manera en que ellos están este, a, emocionalmente aprovechándose de los emigrantes, tratando de decir que la caravana es buena para este estado. Uh, y este, saben ellos que no lo es, no quieren que en realidad sea de que las personas que están indocumentadas no quieren que tengan una legalización, un estatus legal. ¿Y cuando ustedes cómo se Es una seducción emocional lo que están haciendo los demócratas, porque en realidad ellos tampoco uh, es, están de acuerdo con la inmigración ilegal. Solamente que se aprovechan emocionalmente de lo que sentimos para hacernos creer que sí quieren. Uh, pero han dejado claro de que cuando ellos han podido hacer algo al respecto, no lo han hecho. Entonces, para mí como hispano, este, es difícil abordar este tema. Porque de ambos lados estoy este, quizás este, hiriendo algo. Pero lo que sí puedo decirle a todos allá es que debemos de establecernos legalmente aquí. A como de... During a live stream, really? ¿Cómo usted cree que afectaría el 
Pues mira, él es el gobernador y aunque me opongo yo rotundamente a él, espero que haga algo al respecto, porque sí, la comunidad hispana es la que siento que está sufriendo las consecuencias de, de, este, uh, de esta división. Eh, ¿Qué es lo que más le preocupa a usted eh, como, como ciudadano de California? Eh, ¿Qué problemas se tiene más en el Estado y qué Mira, los hispanos son de Elitist. trabajadores. Lo que más me preocupa a mí es que ahorita es el, el housing. Corruption and elitist. Eh, está muy desproporcionado. Uh, yo puedo ver que es imposible de familias, que tres o cuatro familias que tienen que trabajar para poder uh, pagar un, un, una hipoteca. Uh, otra, los impuestos, definitivamente, y emigración. Muchísimas gracias. ¿Dónde está Daylam? And what were you guys doing before? You guys were just walking? They, yeah, we were yeah they said they might bring that sign back. and. Yeah, that would be great. So I can get video of you guys. Sure. Yeah, and I'll just give you guys, well, you get that black uh, flyer or whatever you call it. I'm sure. Okay. No worries. Thanks, you guys, for... for yellow vest event. Sorry, you guys, I didn't want to talk while he was talking. We're doing an interview over here. So we're going to... Uh, How do you say it? The capital, Sacramento. There's more people, they just went for a walk okay. around the Capitol. So they're gathering up more yellow vest people because there's more. Hang tight, around. guys, they're gonna come back get here. Together. Yeah, do you want to get them together so I can take you guys' picture? Asked if he's from Mexico. Okay. I'm gonna get, go in there you get and they'll all come back to take okay. you. I'm just talking about the yellow vests sure okay. and Don't what this worry, event okay. is about. Y 
dice aquí se puede hacer todo, si hace dos cosas, vas a la escuela o trabaja aquí. Y aquí llega la gente pidiendo a ver qué más pueden hacer. Thank God. Yellow vis were in Tijuana yesterday. <laughs> Plastico. <laughs> yeah, the damn straw ban in California. From now on, straws are going to be out of, made out of 100% ivory. California's just going to crap. It's turning into a shithole. Places like San Francisco and East Bay cities, LA. The Democrats just expect minorities to vote for them. Y Estados Unidos se grande otra vez. Sure. I we sent somebody over there to go get them. I was trying to call them, but um, they're trying to get in. Uh, Angela, Angela with the sign, with the flag, the, the, the banner. They want to take a picture of us right here. Do we have uh, Do we have a way to be able to contact them and tell them? I, I did. I did tell them, but they they they. You guys they, California State. Yes. I saw your pin. Uh, Alex Jones. Oh, look, look at that on. Okay, well, oh, that's right. some new ones. Wonderful. I, see. Okay. I got Excellent. my vest in my bag. Perfect. Well, join us. We're going to take a picture right now. Okay, yeah, we we're trying to gather it here. On.
See guys, it, it, not all of the news media is picking up, and with any luck, you know, report this is, put this out there. Well, she doesn't seem to be hating on us at all. This guy, that's how a lot of Hispanics is for him, but I just like come say that's because they're feeding them something that's not true. They really don't, they don't care about illegals. They don't. If they did, if they did, they would have done something already. They don't care. They just, it's just their, their tool. Yeah. To emotionally seduce you, oh look, we do care about this. And you're Hispanic, so we should care about it. Yeah, and if you're not, sorry, there must be something wrong with you. Just like you guys have white guilt, I'm supposed to have illegal guilt. My grandfather was an illegal. You know that. Dang it, here illegally. But different times, different times. Yeah. Let's get in the picture. Hey guys. flip this around right quick okay. well that was a great interview and I hope that we end up seeing this check out channel 19 it looks like the Telemundo symbol let me see if I can get a quick look at this so you guys can know where this is gonna be so people know where this is gonna be channel 19 okay Univision Oh. So I don't know where the rest of our crowd went. They're playing music, you know, because when Democrats get elected, they gotta have good music playing. They gotta have a rock band. They gotta find some way to entertain everybody because there ain't shit going on and nobody really gives a damn. So it'll take me a couple of minutes. Okay. You know, they just wanna feel like. I gotta go back to my. Until they take video of you. Sure. Okay. So you know, a lot of them they just want to feel like they're they're doing something. They're making a difference. That they're they're their movement that they've been pushing for so many years that it's actually going somewhere and they're helping the little guy. Listen, they got you can hear the music. They're just in there rocking out to music. They, what else? What are they? What else are they gonna say? It's like the DNC. They just pack it full of celebrities and people who are singing to fill up all the time. And if, I'm not sure if any of you really remember, that first day of the inauguration, there were no American flags, not one American flag. It wasn't until the second or third day that they had to go out and start giving out flags to people. That, that, that's how much pride these people have. That's how much they actually feel like they, how aware they are of what they're really doing. No American flags. I've been waving an American flag since I, oh, someone gave me one. I never took it down. They just bore the hell out of themselves. But man, every other news, all these news channels here. This was no little thing. So, what time is it? Can I get a time check? Hey, what time is it, you guys? Go ahead, let me hear this one. Come on. I like I've never heard any other excuse. So I guess the inauguration started at 11. You think it actually happened yet? That's probably why they're playing the music. Yeah, they're warming up. Warming up. Do you have a warming up? I still kind of wonder about getting in. It's actually kind of chilly today. I'm glad it's not raining. It rained a little bit, about five minutes on the way up here, but it's been pretty 1120, thanks. It's been actually pretty nice. The sun even almost came out. Oh man, I can't wait for lunch. Let me talk about my stuff, yeah, I'm hungry. This lady was really nice. I'm glad she did what she did. I wasn't sure. You never know when with these news media people, with anybody really, when they want to talk to you, if they're actually going to be, if they're going to just be all biased, you know, just push their, their own agenda and try to try to make you seem like you're some kind of you know, Mexican white supremacist or something. It's insane the things these people come up with. But um, 
That was a pretty good interview. I don't want to stretch it out too long. I'm going to just make this its own little section. I want you guys to enjoy this for those who speak Spanish. Marco was just interviewed here. Lisa was just interviewed here by, who was it? Univision, Univision. So check it out on channel 19. And come back to me again. I'm going to start another one. Thanks for joining me, you guys. An English one, all in English. Who cares? Que Estados Unidos se grande otra vez. Damn it, how do I get around the camera?